On today's Church Mag Spotlight, we have with us Kenny Zhang. Kenny is a marketing, social media, awesome guy. (laughs) Kenny, tell us a little bit about what you do and where you can be found, a little bit about your expertise so everyone can kind of, you know, put the spotlight on you. Sure. Um, I wear many, a couple of different hats. Uh, I'm a bivocational pastor. Uh, official title is the Media and Innovation Pastor and Church Online Pastor at Liquid Church in New Jersey, which is a multi-site, uh, non-denominational Christian church uh, with approximately 3,000 in attendance on Sundays. Uh, we also have five weekly online um, moderated and facilitated uh, church online worship services. Um, I handle media and PR relations, um, all the social channels, um, and really helping to ramp up the um, innovation across the teams um, at the church. And then outside, I have an agency called Big Click Syndicate, where we help nonprofits, um, cause-related, and church and ministry organizations with their digital and strategic messaging campaigns. Well, we'll definitely have to have some links um, in this post. Sure. Sure. you know, I've seen what you've done with Liquid Church, and I've never – Liquid Church has done so many different unique things. They've done – you've done text, like SMS voting, you know, yes. dear, like in real time for the sermon. You had like multiple campuses, you know, interacting with the pastor in real time, taking polls. Um, your your online uh, video streaming site looks great. You've done some really awesome stuff just, just with Liquid Church, let alone the other stuff that uh, that you dabble in. Thanks. Um, it's a very entrepreneurial environment. We like to take church to the people, and to do that, we're we're just trying to innovate and, and try it in different ways, uh, whichever avenue gets to the people. We want to bring that gospel down the street and not just inside our walls. And, of course, you write about a lot of these things as well on your Godvertiser blog. That's right. So um, I have a couple of blogs. Godvertiser.com is the place where I'm focusing on practical and tactical uh, techniques uh, for messaging and communications in the church and nonprofit environments. Awesome, Kenny. If there was if there was one or two things that you see churches maybe struggling with in regards to social media marketing, you know, getting the word out, what would you say that is, or what would you say to them to maybe encourage them or to kind of give them, you know, a, a leg up, you know, grace us with some of your expertise, if you will. <laughs> Well, I think the first thing is that um, a, a tendency is, and this is not just for churches, but uh, a lot of nonprofits and corporations, is they use their social channels as a broadcast megaphone, and all they're talking about is me, 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 and me. Um, and when you do that, um, you know, we go in with the story of the metaphor of the cocktail party. That if you ever did that at a cocktail party, no one would surround you. The person that has the the gathering and the circle that surrounds them are the ones that are interesting and engaged and interactive and, and not doing all the talking. And so I think that's the number one thing that we have to be careful of. That yes, there is tons of stuff you have to get out to your audiences and constituencies, but um, you also need to listen and you also need to engage. You need to put the spotlight on them, not just on you. Uh, make them the hero. And so um, that's, I think, the number one tip I would have for organizations approaching this. Yeah, you know, even with, with Church Mag, um, not a church, but still the whole social media and marketing uh, angles that you have to deal with a lot of times, um, we decided that we would begin to add more value to the social media channels and not just be about me, 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 you know, setting yes. up, you know. Read our latest post. Read this old post, and yes. then leaving at that. No, you know we've we've gotten in a little bit deeper into the community, and and we're sharing other people's content that we 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 think is valuable. So we're adding value to the channel, and churches can do that as well. You know, talking about community events and and things in their area, and and really you know tangle that up a lot better. Exactly. I was with a. A group I was working with just this morning, and so one of the exercises I had was I asked them to pull up their last five newsletters or broadcast emails to their communities, and then I asked them to open up their inbox and find someone that they've been corresponding with more than five times in the last month. And so they found it, and we printed them out, and lo and behold, the difference between the two types of communications were huge. Um, The corporate organizational communications, it was just about them. 
They never referred to anything outside. They never linked to anything outside of their site. And then if you looked at the communication between them and someone else over five emails, um, there were links to other resources that was interesting, um, just freely having that conversation. And, and putting that side by side on the wall for them was an eye-opening experience. You're treating your audiences like a megaphone um, with your corporate communications, but you would never do that on a personal level. Right. And they actually said that. They said, well, I would never do that on a personal level. So why are you treating them differently? It's the same person receiving that messaging. Um, so yes, I think it's critical to understand that difference. That is awesome, Kenny. You know, this has been the spotlight. We put the spot on light, uh, the spotlight on you, and you know, give people kind of a, an opportunity to, you know, uh, know who you are and what you do. And man, just even in these few minutes, we we may have to have you on again. Maybe not a spotlight, <laughs> but maybe sharing more of this information because it is top notch. Kenny, thank you for being on the Church Mag Spotlight today. Great to be here. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> 